And we are back, African Warriors Fighting Championship, back on your screens with more Dambe action, Dambe traditional kickboxing native to Northern Nigeria. We have a big battle on our hands, two warriors ready to do battle in the African Warriors arena. We have Altan Dambunza facing off against Shagon Maitakwasara. As always, make sure you're following across social media. Here we have Dambunza <clears throat> just saluting the crowd. And let's go, round one. Ooh, big shot to start with from Aitokwasara. Dambunza does well to evade. Both men, in, ooh, good shot from Aitokwasara lands again. So both fighters very much quick, starting quickly, peppering punches, throwing shots immediately. So quick movement from both fighters. Ooh, Matakwasara goes for a punch, misses that. Dambunza is probably not moving as quickly. He's a slower starter, but Matakwasara just really jumped out of the gate. Ooh, throws a great punch, just misses that. Dambunza now chasing him down slightly. Dambunza going after him. Oh, both men swinging shots. Both shots just missing. Both men using the shield hand very well. So just punches. You can see feints, footwork on show here. Dambunza is somebody very well known for that. Oh, great punch lands for Dambunza. Matakwasara is just trying to get out of there. Throws his own punch back. Nice body shot for Dambunza also. Oh, Dambunza goes for a shot. Matakwasara misses. Dambunza follow just going after him. Really aggressive. I've never seen Dambunza fight this aggressively. And I think Matakwasara has really brought that out in him. You can see him landing nice punches there, referee. Senses them again. They're back now, facing it. Oh, big shot. Big shots on both sides. Maitakosara spins out after throwing his punch. Dambunza with a nice body shot. Another body shot there. What an exciting fight. High pace, high energy fight. Both men just reaching out with the unwrapped hand. The shield hand used offensively and defensively. Maitakosara lands a quick punch there. Good shot there, Lanzo Dambunza. There's a shoot, two punches in the clinch. I like that body shot to the exposed rib. He just lands another one, just under the armpit, just peppering punches in. Lands all oh, two punches in a row to the chin. I think Maitakosara was rocked there actually with that last punch. That was a big shot. He's really going after him. Dambunza is just hunting his man down. Oh, lands one to the chin there. Matakasara lands, lands a punch back. Both men in the clinch. Punches in the clinch from Dambunza there. What a fight. Nice shot there to the chin. Another shot to the chin for Dambunza. Another shot. We have a fight. That was the first round and that was a huge round. So there's a great punch from Dambunza there. You just have him hunting his opponent down. No nonsense. Going after him with serious power. Lands a punch to the rib there, just under the armpit there. Some body shots here. Chin. Ah. Perfect punches from Dambunza. There's a good shot from Atokasara. Right on the chin there. Here's some big body shots, really winding up, just throwing his whole body weight into those punches. Big shots, big shots. Just that clinch moment, just throwing shots in there. But what a fight. Just an offensive pace from both fighters. Dambunza here, breathing, but not too heavily, you know. He's still, he's still got two more rounds to go ultimately. And he's looking pretty good so far. He speaks to one of his fellow fighters. You can't beat Dambi. There's nothing like it. Beautiful sport. Be beautiful, brutal, traditional. So many things just wrapped up in one. My talk, sorry, did well in that first round. He showed that he was in this fight. Let's see if he's able to do better in round two. And they start with that same pace. Dambunza just coming forward with his unwrapped hand, with his shield hand, using it offensively to just line up his opponent. 
ultimately looking for the opportunity to land that killer blow. There we go again. Swings a punch. Matokasara does well to evade that punch. Oh, Matokasara. Oh, so great evasive movement from Dambunza there. So again, just coming forward, lands that shot under the armpit. Matokasara just acknowledges that punch. Moves out of his way. I think Matokasara needs to get back into this fight. He needs to be more offensive because Dambunza really is leading the dance now when it comes to punches, when it comes to just offensive action. Matokasara is moving a lot, not throwing much. He throws a punch there, doesn't land, throws another punch, doesn't land. Big uppercut misses there for Dambunza. This is a fight. <laughs> this is very much a fight. So I feel like after that huge pace set in that first round, Maitoko Asara is maybe just trying to rethink his strategy. Doesn't want to take as much damage, it seems. He did take a lot of damage in that first round. So he's very much, seems a lot, seems a lot more comfortable just moving around, keeping his movement up. Dambunza is just bullying him. He's just bullying him at this point, just chasing him around the arena. Matokas, I don't think he's thrown uh, a significant punch in this round yet. So it's a lot to, you know, you can come out of the gates quickly, but can you keep the pace up for the entire fight is the question. That's always the question. And it feels to me like, okay, he comes forward with some shots. Dambunza takes the opportunity, grabs him in the clinch, lands multiple punches, body shots, body shots, head all oh, right to the chin, body, head. Big shots there from Dambunza. Look at those punches. Heavy all oh, to the body again, body again, head. What a fight. So my talkers are just getting out of the way again. So it's just one of those fights where you can just, the energy is just palpable. And Dambunza is just landing some more punches. Big uppercut attempt there from Matokasara just misses. That under the uppercut, I'm sure his ribs, Matokasara's ribs are really feeling that. Dambunza has done very well to just pepper that body shot constantly over the course of this fight. And that is the end of our second round. So that's a big fight, big, big fight. There's great evasive movement there. Some more evasive movement, then he just grabs him in the clinch. One step back, grabs him in the clinch. Body, body, head, head, head. Oh, just throwing big shots, heavy punches. Dambunza really, really knows how to use the different lengths in Dambia. So, if it's a not if it's short term or short close quarter fighting, he does it well. If it's longer, using his unwrapped hand to really measure distance and create space for himself, he does it well also. Here we have Matokasara. Dambunza here. Looking confident, still looking quite fresh. Mm listening to the musicians he's feeling himself he's in his element he holds the arena he's winning this fight nobody can beat me <laughs> out and down bunza let's go round three so here we are again this third and final round in this african warriors fighting championship bout so both men swinging. Oh, big shot there from Mato Kazara. So he's still dangerous. He's still in this fight. He's still ready to swing back. I respect that. I appreciate that. Let's see what he can do. Maybe this is the round he makes his big comeback. Dambunza with another body shot there. Another body shot. What I like about Dambunza is he knows how to uh, mix up his attacks. So different range, right? So he throws to the body when necessary, throws to the head when necessary, clinches up when necessary, knows what's working for himself. 
and I just feel like his opponent to me just oh he throws a shot there just misses and he does that well also he's very good with evasive movement very quick quick head movement good footwork He hasn't really landed much in these second rounds. He started this fight with a lot of energy and I was quite, I was excited to see that. But I think as this fight has just matured and he's just taken a fair amount of blows, he's taken a lot of punishment. It's hard to, <laughs> to continue to, you know, generate that same output once, you know, you've been on the wrong end of a few punches from such a skilled fighter like Althan Dambunza. So as you can see, Dambunza is just stalking him around the arena. Arm extended. Itakasara just doesn't look like he wants to engage. Doesn't look like he has much engagement left in him, to be honest. Dambunza looks like he's playing with his food. And he, I'd like to see more offense from him, to be honest. There's a big swing and a miss there from Itakasara. Dambunza, I think... He, he's one of those fighters who responds to what you throw at him. So I think his offense in that first round was very much a mirror of what was coming at him. And that's why he really was aggressive, throwing quick punches. But now he's not getting much back. So he just seems a bit content to just be on the, you know, on a, on a calmer level, really. He's just stalking, really. He hasn't thrown much at all. Great evasive movement still on show, as you just see there. And that is the end of that. So here we just have, it was much of the story for this third and final round. Not many punches were thrown. And the punches that were thrown largely missed from both fighters. So Dautan Dambunza to me was, you know, a clear winner in terms of how he approached this fight, in terms of the damage he caused. My Takasara for me just checked out of the fight after the first round, just after taking a fair amount of damage in that first round. Altan Dambunta takes the victory, and there we go. African Warriors Fighting Championship. Follow us for more. Follow us for all the best Dambi action. Facebook, YouTube, African Warriors Fighting Championship. African Warriors FC, Kick, Instagram, TikTok. Thank you very much.